A major geomagnetic storm is about to hit Earth again tonight, and this is a big deal. Last night, we saw the second of three aurora waves hit the United States, bringing widespread northern light seen as far south as Florida and Texas. But tonight, we could see something even more extreme, as another CME is forecasted to impact Earth tonight, and this could be even stronger than the one last night. Space weather storms are rated on a scale from G1 to G5, with G1 being minor and G5 being extreme. This one is forecasted to reach G4 level, which is very severe. This is just one step below the most powerful type of geomagnetic storm. These storms can cause a ton of different problems, including disrupting GPS signals, causing radio blackouts, and even creating voltage spikes in power grids. But these storms can also bring incredible northern lights. And keep in mind, a G1 storm usually doesn't bring northern lights much further south than Canada, but we're talking about a G4 storm, which means that northern lights could be visible as far south as Texas and Georgia. And last night, this is exactly what we saw, as a G4 storm put on one of the most stunning aurora displays in years. These intense northern lights stretched across almost the entire northern United States and the Midwest, with that glowing green and purple curtain visible as far south as Texas, Florida, Tennessee, Iowa, and Nebraska. This incredible show was powered by a coronal mass ejection, or otherwise known as a CME. A CME is a massive burst of charged solar particles that slammed strained Earth's magnetic field. Storms like this only happen a few times every decade, and we could see another storm like we saw last night happen again tonight. Tonight, we are expecting something similar, as we are anticipating G4 conditions to reach as far south as Texas and Florida. However, we could even see a G5 storm. A G5 storm is the most extreme solar storm, and this would bring northern lights overhead in parts of Texas and the southern United United States, and we may see auroras visible on high exposure cameras as far south as Mexico and even the Florida Keys. So in this forecast, we're going to break down exactly where you'll be able to see auroras tonight and how the weather is going to fare in your area to ensure that you will actually have viewing conditions for tonight. And before we talk about the weather conditions, I do want to outline where we will likely see northern lights tonight based off of the latest data on this upcoming geomagnetic storm. So this is our latest forecast in terms of where we can expect northern lights. Anywhere in the pink is where we are likely going to see overhead auroras. What that means is that we're going to have plenty of green, purple, red in the sky. That's at least what we're forecasting for tonight as long as our geomagnetic storm is around a G4. It could be a G5 once again. It could also be a G3, but no matter what, we are expecting it to be in that range. And this once again includes New England, the Midwest, and also the Pacific Northwest. Anywhere in the light green, this is where if you look to the north, you should at least be able to see some sort of glow from the northern lights. Many of you, including areas like Texas, Tennessee, and even northern Georgia, were able to see this last night. But keep in mind, with tonight's geomagnetic storm, it does have the potential to be stronger, which means you might even be able to see more colors, and you might even be able to see it easier with the naked eye. And then that red line that goes all the way down into the Gulf and also into central Florida, this is where the camera view line is. Essentially, if you have high exposure on your camera that is around 10 seconds or longer, that is where you are going to be able to see the possibility of at least seeing those northern lights on the northern horizon. Keep in mind, if you're anywhere in the United States tonight and you want to see these, your best chance to do so will be away from cities and away from light pollution. You should be in a rural area and a field is really the best place to be. That way you guarantee yourself at least a higher chance of seeing these northern lights tonight. I also want to reiterate that this forecast could change today at some point. It could get even further south. It could also go back to the north a little bit. So make sure you are following me on Facebook and Twitter at Max Velocity WX. Links are in the description for all of the latest updates regarding this big event. Now let's talk more about the viewing conditions for tonight's northern lights. This is the future radar throughout the rest of today. Back over in the northeast, unfortunately, we do have a very weak low pressure system just to the northeast of the Great Lakes. This is going to continue to bring snow and rain throughout the day today, and I know a lot of you are seeing your first snow today. Unfortunately, this is probably not the best time for it because you might not have a great chance at seeing northern lights tonight because of all the cloud cover. Another area that I'm concerned with tonight is back over on the West Coast. We have a big storm system that's going to be coming in, producing lots of rain that could lead to flooding. That'll be mostly tomorrow, but tonight we are expecting a lot of that cloud cover to make it to the coastline. This is by about 10 o'clock tonight, Eastern time. Notice how we will continue to see light snow and rain across the Northeast. This includes Pennsylvania, New York, and almost all of New England. So if you're in any of those areas, cloud cover appears very likely. Last night, we had a lot of cloud cover in Michigan, Wisconsin, and Ohio. And 
And unfortunately, I do think for some of these areas, there will still be lingering cloud cover. However, I don't think it's going to be as bad as last night. And in just a moment, I'm going to show you exactly where that cloud cover line is going to set up for tonight. Down in the southeast and all along the Gulf Coast, even though it's not overly common we ever really see any sort of northern lights this far down to the south, I do think it's definitely in play tonight. And we also have high pressure down in the Gulf right now. This is going to help to basically clear out the skies for most of us across the southeast for tonight, which is great news. All of the Great Plains also look good for tonight in terms of rain and snow. I honestly think we're going to have a very nice night in terms of viewing in these areas. Now let's talk more about the cloud cover for tonight. This is going to be the biggest troublemaker when it comes to watching the northern lights. This is what it looks like this morning. We obviously have a lot of cloud cover across the northeast. That is from that low pressure system in Canada. And then we have a ton of cloud cover along and just to the west of the Rocky Mountains. By later this afternoon and into the early evening, the cloud cover is really not going to improve along the west coast. Unfortunately, if you are in the Pacific Northwest, there is a very low chance you're really going to be able to see anything. That's mainly due to the fact we're going to have a lot of low and mid-level cloud cover. That tends to be a lot thicker, and it can be a lot harder to see northern lights. That is a problem that we had last night, and it looks like that's going to happen again tonight. Arizona, the four corner states, I do think we're going to have problems down there as well. Areas in the Midwest, this one is a little bit up in the air right now. I do think we're at least going to have some high-level clouds. What that essentially means is very high clouds will be in play. Those are typically very thin though. So we should still be able to see northern lights for most of the northern plains and as well as the Midwest. So it's not a complete lost cause at this point. I know last night we also had some high clouds in some of these areas that is going to once again continue tonight. It might be a little bit more dense though in terms of the coverage of that of those clouds. And then back over in the southern plains like Texas, Arkansas, anywhere in the southeast, I don't really see many clouds in the forecast. There will be some high clouds in Florida, but Florida is going to probably struggle to really see much tonight unless this is a very intense G5 storm. And then also across the Northeast, there will still be very low and mid-level clouds that are going to be covering almost the entire sky across New England, New York, and parts of Pennsylvania. I do think we're at least going to have partly clear skies across Pennsylvania, Virginia, and as well as Ohio during this time frame, Michigan and Wisconsin as well. I do think most of these areas will be able to see Northern Lights tonight. I know last night, most of you were not able to see them. I think tonight will be a different story. There should be enough breaks in the clouds to at least see some of the beautiful northern lights. And in the rare case that these northern lights last into Thursday morning, which is usually pretty unlikely, but just before sunrise Thursday morning, there will still be plenty of cloud cover across the West Coast. There could be some breaks, though, across parts of Nevada, Utah, and perhaps even Montana. But generally speaking, the cloud cover is only going to build even further across the Ohio Valley. But there should still be enough breaks in the clouds for these areas where you will likely at least be able to see some of the northern lights. The best chance to see these northern lights will likely be from about 8 o'clock tonight until about midnight, so definitely keep an eye out to the sky. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We will have our 24-7 weather camera stream with northern lights views tonight on our More Max Velocity channel. You can watch that stream with the top link in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. This stream will be up watching northern lights all night tonight, assuming that they do happen. If there's any big changes to the forecast, we will let you know on Facebook and Twitter at Max Velocity WX. So make sure you're following those pages. Links are down below, and we'll see you all again in the next video.